No letdown in sight. Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football, following the Michigan romp at Maryland at 38 to 7. Please like, comment, share the videos, and subscribe to the voice of college football here with the best discussion, debate, and analysis in the game. Giles Jackson right out of the gate, 97 yards for the kickoff return touchdown for the Maize and Blue. They were off and running 7 to nothing in Maryland. When I say Michigan didn't let down, after a tremendous second half showing against Penn State, followed up by an annihilation of a top 10 Notre Dame team by 31 points. It's kind of difficult to let up against Maryland. You may try to let up, but Maryland's just so bad they won't let you let up. So it was quickly 7 to nothing Michigan. And any type of vibe or energy at College Park was probably completely just drained right out of the stadium. Maryland, on its first series, under the guides of uh, Josh Jackson, the Virginia Tech transfer, who's had a pretty dismal season after the, of course, explosion out of the gate against, what, Hampton when they scored 79 points and then that blasting of Syracuse, 63 points. I think they've scored more points in the first two games than the rest of the season. Maryland looked like Maryland offense in what we've seen out of the last two months in the first drive. Three and out with a tackle for loss from Michigan and a sack on Josh Jackson. There you go. Josh Jackson did grow up a Michigan fan, so he's probably partially happy with the win by the Wolverines. Donovan Peoples-Jones with a decent kickoff or a punt return to get it to the Maryland 41. Shea Patterson looking sharp on the slant pass to Nico Collins for 14 yards down to the Maryland 15 just a couple plays later. Zach Charbonnet with a touchdown, and Michigan went up 14 to nothing. So, kickoff return touchdown, a three and out in which they stop Maryland behind the line of scrimmage multiple times. The nice punt return, and then boom, boom, boom down the field, rushing and passing, touchdown. Michigan looks sharp the first three series of the game, 14 to nothing. Maryland did mount two decent drives. Uh, In the first half, they had a seven-minute drive, 58 yards, but Michigan blew up the play, caused the uh, errant throw by Josh Jackson, who was belted in the gut when the left guard was completely overrun, and Josh Metellus picked off the pass, and that ended the Maryland drive inside the Michigan 15. And then the next drive, Maryland went for 43 yards. Modest drive, but still moved the chains 43 yards. But they missed a field goal, a chip shot, 37-yard field goal. Michigan, actually up 14 to nothing at its own 30, had so much confidence in the defense stopping Maryland that they went for a fake punt on fourth and one, and Michael Barrett just right up the gut for about 15 yards. Shea Patterson right after that. They boom. They they make the momentum swing play after the three and out stop by Maryland or apparent stop. Michigan, boom, fake punt. They got Maryland reeling again. And first play, they go up top 51 yards. Beautiful pass play from Shea Patterson. Put it right on the money. Beautifully lofted. Coming down, Nico Collins was actually covered, but high pointed the football and wrestled it away from the defender. 51 yards for Nico. Zach Charbonnet a couple plays later, cutback, touchdown run in which Maryland did not have any backside pursuit staying home. Zach Charbonnet runs it in for the touchdown. It's 21-0. Josh McEwen had a nice little route in which the Maryland defense blew the coverage with seconds left in the first half, but Michigan missed the field goal. But I just highlight that to show the ineptitude of Maryland in that situation and Michigan actually starting to play some crisp offense. In that situation, they go for 29 yards down to the Maryland 19 with six seconds left. They they opted for not another play, and they shouldn't have. Only six seconds left, but they missed the field goal. Still up 21-0 at the break. The one bright spot for Maryland, Javon Leak, 30, or, uh, 97 yards on the kickoff return touchdown. Javon Leak, one of the more explosive players in the Big Ten, along with his buddy Anthony McFarland, who ran 14 times for 60 yards against, uh, of course, one of the better defenses in the country. When I say one of the better defenses in the country, one of the 10 to 15 best defenses in the country. And that was the highlight for the Terps. Only 223 yards of total offense for Maryland football. And they lose 38-7. to They score no offensive touchdowns. Josh Jackson only completes 9 of 20 for 97 yards. 
the pick to Metellus. Shea Patterson only had to throw it 22 times, completed 13, 151 yards, one touchdown, uh, the play we highlighted, and no interceptions, and he sat out the last 16 minutes of the game. Zach Charbonnet, Michigan note here, scored his 11th touchdown. That is a Michigan freshman record. All right, for the Wolverines, who again are out of the Big Ten race by any reasonable measure, sure, there are mathematical compilations that we could run through in which they would force a three-way tie and win it based on sweeping and getting two losses out of Penn State and two losses out of Ohio State, including the head-to-head. But it's reasonable that Michigan is shooting for a New Year's Day bowl game, and that's the best they can do. They're 7-2 and right now. They've got uh, Michigan State coming up at Indiana and the game against the Buckeyes at the Big House. For Maryland, they've got a sweep, and uh, for them to even play a decent quarter at this point would be a major accomplishment. Maryland's 3-6. and six. They go to the horseshoe to play Ohio State next week, so there you go. There goes the postseason aspirations right there. Nebraska at home, then at Michigan State for the Terps, and Michael Oxley, it started oh so well with a zillion points against Hampton, I believe it was Hampton, and against uh, Syracuse. But it's all come crashing down since for Maryland football in year number one under Loxley. Your thoughts on the Terps and the Wolverines, of course, here at Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football. Like, comment, share the videos, and subscribe, and we will see you soon.